Hey everybody, it is Chad and Emily with Colorado Giants, or maybe we gotta come up with a, we'd be three acre farm now, right? The donkey home. The donkey home. Emily just got some donkeys. We'll talk about all that in a second, so stick around. So if you have made it this far, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're trying to get to a thousand subscribers this year. Uh, why? I don't really know. It's a round number and uh, it's past 500, which we are at. Emily is helping me out in the pumpkin patch today. And yes, she did go get two donkeys this morning that should be delivered later today. Tell us about the donkeys. They're adorable and they're going to be our best friends. And they're going to make compost for the pumpkin patch. But what we're doing while I have Emily's help is we are working on the ground post. So this is probably like step five, maybe. Uh, probably the most critical step, and that's why Emily is helping me, because I'm more muscle and she's more finesse. Uh, we are setting the ground post, so you can see the ground post down over there and one over there. So we're setting the four corners. That's the foundation of the greenhouse. Basically what we're doing is, what are we doing, Emily? You're doing a lot of hammering, hammering these posts into the ground to this deep. So what I'm doing is we've measured out Emily with her doctoral mind, uh, figured out that the, that the diagonal on 34 by 72 is what? 79 and seven inches. And seven inches. So we measured our, our diagonal. So we have a perfectly square, uh, mark where our little flags are there. And I'm driving down this spike to make like a pilot hole for the ground post so this is three feet long and it gets driven down two feet and then emily is using that level right there to kind of keep an eye on me and make sure i'm going down level and then remmel sent that driver thing would you be right there will you show us that and that goes in the top so that i don't ruin the uh the pole because that's where the frame goes into the hoops so there is 19 hoops what's 19 times two 38. 38. So there's 38. So I have to drive 38 of these in the ground. I'm on number three. And uh, Emily's probably going to take over. What's so funny about that, my love? So, good yeah, yeah, good luck. So uh, let's get to work and we'll show you some progress later. So Emily and I are taking a break from driving at the ground post that you can see over there because Emily got a delivery of what? Of donkey! Donkeys! So tell everybody about your donkeys. This is for now Karma and Karina. They're 10 and 11 years old. Rescue donkeys. And they just came home today. So now we're donkey people. We're donkey and pumpkin people and reptile people and dog people chicken and people. chicken people and pumpkin people. We're all sorts of people. We're robot people, Volkswagen people, Sweet. bee people. Bee people. Mm -hmm. Now we're donkey people. So we're just trying to get her to like us. But uh, after this break, I'll show you what we're doing over there. Uh, I'm probably, yeah, I'm probably on my own now because <laughs> Emily's going to be playing with donkeys the remainder of the day. And here comes Karina in hot and heavy. Want some hay. Or, or as I call them, maybe like compost factory. Compost factory. That's compost why we got factory. them. Yeah, because we have to for the pumpkin. Feeding patch. the pumpkin. Yeah, that's it. All right, we'll be back. Okay, so we just did one, yep, we just did one row. Uh, and it's about four, almost five o'clock, so we're gonna stop for today. We gotta get the kiddo. But let me just explain to you what we did in a one half sense, um, because that should be good enough. So if you are doing ground, or if you get a Remmel ground, Remmel 
greenhouse rather um, or any type of a greenhouse where you're beating in the ground posts this is what we did so uh, I made some little baseboards back there and you can see I tied off the strings on opposite corners from our uh, our corner post and then we just ran them down so that you know I get a little bit of variance there or a little bit of tolerance so this doesn't have to be exact and it can't be exact when you're just beating them in with a sledgehammer you know I'm sure there's more exact ways to do it but for our instance this works pretty good for us um, and you can see there's you know maybe just a skosh of variance on one or two but for the most part that's that's pretty good I'm, I'm extremely happy with what we did um, the last step is to level these we did not level them height wise they need to be level so what I'm going to do is alright so now in the next step for setting all the ground posts Emily and I kind of rough beat them all in and you'll see back there I have a laser level so I have a laser level and a grading stick. So what this does is that when this stick gets at the appropriate height, it'll start to beep like we see here. So a solid beep means that it's level. So what I'm going to do is take this stick and then go around and beat all of these other ground posts into place. So we can see that one just has to go down like a half inch or so. Yeah, it's that. And then uh, we'll do that with all the rest of them. So that way all the ground posts are level. So uh, I have a friend, uh, Joelle, coming over. She's a fellow pumpkin grower. She's actually my neighbor that lives just a few doors down. So we'll get this knocked out and uh, we'll be ready to throw up some hoops. And with this outro, that is that for this video. We got everything leveled up nicely. Unfortunately, I forgot to take... Uh, some last minute shots of everything. You'll just have to take my word for it. We got it all level uh, with the help of both Emily and Joelle, and it looks great. Uh, at this point, we're going to be ready for uh, the installation of the frame. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, share it with a friend, comment below if you have any questions, but get out there, grow yourself a giant pumpkin.